Hi, my name's Jeremy Martell, and today I'm going to show you how to copy your hard drive to a new hard drive. To complete this, the equipment and software that you'll need is a second hard drive. This can be connected externally via USB and a program called SuperDuper, which is a free download from www.shirtpocket.com. So here we are in the main desktop. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take the Macintosh hard drive that's currently installed on this computer and copy all of its files, about 30 gigs of files, and transfer it over to the new drive that we're going to install afterwards. This hard drive has 500 gigs available in it, and as you can see there aren't any files. And the program we're going to use to copy all the files over is called SuperDuper. Now it's free to download and trial, or you can purchase it for about $27 on their website. In SuperDuper, it says we're going to copy from the Macintosh hard drive that's installed on the computer to the USB connected Macintosh hard drive. I named it exactly the same, so when I install it, it'll appear exactly as it is right now. For our purposes today, we're going to select Backup All Files. This will make an exact copy of the existing drive on the new one. The window below describes what's going to happen. By pressing the Copy Now button, it will first erase the Macintosh hard drive. Don't be alarmed. This is the USB connected Macintosh hard drive. Backup all files will then be used to copy the Macintosh hard drive that's installed on your computer to the USB connected Macintosh hard drive. All files on the installed Macintosh hard drive will be copied to the USB connected Macintosh hard drive. With the exception of temporary and system specific files that Apple recommends excluding. Now all we have to do is click on copy now to begin the process. You have to type in your password to authorize the copy of all your files from one drive to the next. Once you hit enter, it gives you a warning message that you're about to erase all the contents on the USB connected Macintosh hard drive. Click on the copy button to begin the transfer of your files. SuperDuper is going to take you through a three step process to copy all the files from your old drive to your new drive. Step 2 copies all the files. This will probably take a couple hours, so we'll let it run and take a look at it once it's completed. Okay, so we're back. SuperDuper has successfully completed all three steps, and it took about an hour and 42 minutes to transfer all the files from the old drive to the new drive. Now that we've successfully copied all the files from the old drive to the new drive, we're going to restart the computer. When you hear the Apple startup sound, you're going to hold in the Option key. This will allow us to select what drive we would like to boot from. We're going to boot from the USB drive to ensure that the computer loads correctly and that all the information was transferred as it was supposed to. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. I look forward to any questions and comments you guys might have.